You are there guys, this is Dale from Lone One by Airsoft and today we're going to be doing something a little bit new for me and that's a video review of an Airsoft site that I've been going to over the last year and that's specifically Black Dagger Airsoft in Dronfield. Now, before we dive into the review, uh, just like I did with my Type 97 gun review last year, I'm going to put some links in the video just here and here. So if there's a specific part you want to skip to, say you want to know where the location is, how much it costs, what the terrain's like, what the staff's like, you can just click on either of the links and it's going to go straight to that part of the video. Now, before we dive in as well, I've been obviously going to the site for over a year now and I've come to know the players and the staff quite well, but I'm going to try my absolute best to make sure this video review is as unbiased and fair as possible. Okay, so without further ado, let's just go straight into it. So, first of all, where exactly is Black Dagger Airsoft? Now, it's located in Grasscroft Wood, Dronfield. Now, I've included the address for the site in the description below. So if you want to put that into Google Maps, you'll be able to get directions and how long it's going to take for you to get to the site. Now, the easiest way of getting there is to head for the A61. From there, you can go into the town of Dronfield itself. Now, Dronfield is a little bit of a maze if you've never been there before. So I recommend you bring a sat-nav with you or at the very least have a good idea of where you're going before you set off. Um, once you come to the top of the village, you'll come to a bridge that crosses over the A61 and you've got the Hyde Park Inn pub on the left-hand side. Cross the bridge, take a left, and you can follow the road down. Soon enough you'll be in a woody area, and on your left-hand side is a gate with the Black Dagger sign on it, and that is the site entrance. Just drive straight on in, and you'll find yourself straight in the safe zone. So what does it cost to play a Black Dagger for the day, and what are the on-site facilities like? Well, if you've got your own gear, your own AEG, and you're good to go, the walk-on fee is £15 for a non-member, and £10 for a member. The membership itself is £20, that covers you for the year. And if you turn up three times within two months, you can earn your Yukara license at the site as well. Um, in terms of additional supplies, I managed to pick up a bag of 4,000.25 BBs for £8. And um, that's at the small on-site shop they have there. So that sells things like spare mags, speed loaders, face protection, eye protection, just the little bits you might need on the day. So they've got you covered for the additional supplies. Um, in terms of lunch, they do have full catering on site. Um, it's not included in the walk-on fee. So you might have to bring an extra two or three pound with you on the day just to get yourself some cooked lunch or obviously bring your own packed one or even go to the Hyde Park Inn up the road and get a proper pub dinner served for you. Um, in terms of bathrooms, they don't have any on the site at the time of recording. They are currently being constructed, but they've only literally just put the scaffolding up for it. So they're easily a couple of months away. Um, obviously, your options for that are to either A, go to the Hyde Park Inn up the road or B, just wander off into the forest and pray to God that your mates aren't watching you. So, in a couple of months that'll be fixed, but unfortunately at the time of the recording, they're not available. So, let's talk a bit about the staff and what the crowd of Black Dagger Airsoft's like. Now, when you turn up, probably the first bloke you're going to run into is a guy called Chris Lacey. He's the one who runs Black Dagger Airsoft, organises all the games, that kind of thing. Um, all the staff are very friendly and approachable, so when you turn up for the first time, it's alright to just wander up to them and have a conversation. They're decent people, what more can you say about that? There's a, um, a very consistent crowd of regulars at Black Dagger Airsoft, so it's going to be fairly obvious that you're the new face there, but uh, everyone's quite approachable, and if you're in trouble with a bit of tech help, that kind of thing, they're very um, welcoming and they're going to help you out if you've got any issues. Um, one of the plus sides of having quite the consistent crowd of regulars there comes from hit taking in the games. Now, because everybody knows everybody else, it's very unlikely for yourself to run across a non-hit taker. Obviously, there's going to be some. It's an airsoft site. There's always going to be that one guy who just doesn't take his hits. But because everybody knows everyone else's faces, it's uh, very easy to identify who the non-hit taker is. And so more often than not, they'll get removed from the game and kicked off site. The marshals are not afraid to remove people from games. They've actually come up with another way, actually, of testing whether a person can take their hits or not. Um, some of the marshals will carry a low-power sidearm once they go into the field. And every so often, if there's a player that they think's being a bit dodgy, they'll just take a pot shot with the um, sidearm they have there. And um, if the player takes that hit, they'll say, yeah, it's just a test to make sure that you were taking your hits, you can carry on in the game as normal. Um, in terms of new players, Black Dagger tends to be quite light on um, brand new players to the sport. So you're kind of unlikely to run across a brand new person who hasn't quite discovered the importance of taking their hits just yet. But um, obviously, as I say, this is an airsoft site like any other, and so it's going to happen occasionally. The point I'm trying to make across is that hit taking at Black Dagger is very good. 
So let's talk a little bit about the very interesting thing of Black Dagger and that's the terrain. It's the one thing that makes this site unique. Now Black Dagger is a complete woodland site, there are no fortifications to speak of, but the terrain you've got there is absolutely amazing. It's just so varied. You wander through and they've got several different types of woodland all condensed into the one site. You've got large trees, small trees, ferns, bushes, brambles, mounds, hills, a giant ravine with a river running through it. The terrain is amazing. You can just end up in one part of the site and if it's not particularly suited to your engagement style, just take a couple of steps in the other direction and you'll find yourself in a completely different type of woodland. It's just really fun and varied to play in. It's unreal. Um, the only place I've seen that even comes close to it is Ground Zero down in Dorset. But this is like that, just condensed into a much more manageable site. It's fairly large, but you can walk the site within the length of a standard game, so flanking is a very viable option whilst you're playing there. Now, the only downside of this, obviously, is, as I mentioned, there are no fortifications on site, no buildings of any real sort. They've only got these two kind of sheds that are collapsing in on themselves, so they're not really buildings as far as we're concerned. So if you have to maybe a mix of uh, woodland and urban, then this really isn't the one for you. This is pure forest through and through. Um, one problem with uh, the terrain is in the cold winter months um, it tends to build up a lot of mud at the base of the sites. Now obviously this is due to the weather and the fact the safe zone is at the base of the hill so all the rainwater will come down but there's also some dirt bikers that turn up to the site occasionally not during games but um, through the rest of the week and um, I know Chris Lacey is trying to get rid of these guys and they're very close to it as well, but they just tend to churn up all the mud on the pathways and make it very slippy. It's not a deal breaker, like it's something you can deal with, but obviously you get, your gear's going to come home absolutely caked in mud and you're going to have to watch your step whilst you're playing during the winter months. So we've talked a bit about the terrain of Black Dagger, but what about the game modes they play there? Now, to start the day off, what they'll usually do is a quick attack and defend of uh, Hamburger Hill. Now this is a good bit of terrain that's located quite near the safe zone. It's scalable from every direction, so you'll get people surrounding this hill and trying to scale up it, and some defenders on the top who are desperately trying to hold them off from all angles. It's a really good, fun way to start the day off. Um, from there, the games go in all manner of directions. I've been going there for pretty much a year now, and never once have I felt that I was playing the same game twice. They're just so varied. Like, um, the guys on site keep coming up with these new props they're bringing. You'll turn up one day and you'll find they've brought a multiple missile launcher with them, or a deck box, or a wounded VIP on a stretcher. And often they'll take um, ideas from players. This is where some of the really good game types have come from. Like the Juggernaut game we did last year, where we had a guy bringing his riot gear and um, had a VIP escort of him. They're just so different and varied. You never get bored playing there. And... Of course, the downsides of having such variance in the game is a lot of them are untried, they've never done them before. And occasionally, um, a game may fall completely flat on its face. This has happened once or twice in the entire time I've been there, not very often at all. But the marshals are very quick to turn it around when it does. They're very in tune with how the players are feeling. And so if they feel that the game's dragging on a little bit too long, or the objective was completed really quickly and nobody wants to go back to the safe zone just yet, They'll carry the game on or shorten it or swap players on sides just to make sure that everyone has a good time. I mean, if you can be on the losing team at Black Dagger for the entire day and still have fun, you know that the Marshals are doing something right there. So, ultimately, is Black Dagger Airsoft worth a visit? Now, I have to say it's an absolutely overwhelming yes. If you're in the Derby, Sheffield, Mansfield areas, you need to go and see what this site is like. If you're into your woodland gameplay, you're not going to find terrain as unique and interesting as this. The game types are interesting, the walk-on fees cheap. There has a little bit of way to go in terms of some on-site facilities, but ultimately you're just there to have an amazing game of airsoft, and this is one of the best places to do it at. You're going to come home absolutely caked in mud, knackered from running up and down all these hills all day, but you would have had a whale of a time doing it, and I cannot recommend Black Dagger Airsoft enough. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed my video review of Black Dagger Airsoft, and I hope it's answered all the questions you might have about the site. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll read it and get back to you as quick as I can. What I'd also appreciate though is some feedback on the video review itself. Um, I've started with a site that I know quite well just so we can test the water, see if the formula is right, see if you guys like it. Because my plan is to go to a new site every time I go airsofting and do this review from the impression of a person who's never been before. 
which I think would be a lot more helpful to someone if you're looking at which sites are good and which aren't, if you've never been to one before. So um, what I'd really appreciate is if you can leave a comment as well, just um, offering some advice, maybe things I can improve on, maybe just some things you likes even. And um, any and all feedback is well appreciated as far as I'm concerned. So again, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video review of Black Dagger Airsoft. And until next time, this has been Dale of Lone Wombat Airsoft.